Good evening, everybody. The time is now 6.03 p.m. and I call to order this meeting of the Special Committee for Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. We'll get started with our roll call. Emmanuel? Here. I'm here. Jeff? Here. Uh, Daisy's not here. Karen, you're here in her stead? Correct. All right. Um, Chirin? Michael? Here. Okay. I think that's the... Oh, I'm sorry, Tammy. <laughs> Here. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. It's uh, great to see you all. This is, um, quite frankly, a beautiful day, so a, a great time to get together. Um, we have one audience member joining us today. Welcome back. Um, would you ha do you have anything you'd like to share? No, we're just going to... Okay. <laughs> all right. And um, as we've done our last few meetings, we've suspended the... Um, subcommittees due to just a, a sparsity of people. Um, but if there's anything to report out um, from Justice and Police Relations, actually it's not Justice and Police Relations, but do you want to give a, an update on the record for the Barbie movie? Sure. Okay, go ahead. You got to lean in though. Yes. So I was going to try to put together um, the Barbie showing and um, discussion afterwards. I had a colleague at Youngstown State University who teaches gender communication courses and was interested in um, facilitating a discussion after the showing of the film, but we could not find a date. The auditorium is booked in March. We would have had to go into April April is bad for us. Yes. Yeah. We're winding down and we have just a lot of things going on in April for us. So um, I've already briefly chatted with Michael, all right, to <laughs> let him know that we'll be ready for Women's History Month 2025 to do this event. There. Great, that'd be great. And maybe it'll give us an opportunity to get on the agenda for the school auditorium, you know, like maybe reaching out in October or something like that. I don't know when, when a good time is to reach out for those kinds of things. We're trying to get on the agenda early, yeah. recognizing yeah. that we're late. We were late this time. So... So I'm not complete. You're not completely done with me yet, <laughs> <laughs> but you never were going to be completely done. With me, all right, I'm not going too far away. Good all to right. hear. So, well, Jeff, thank you for obviously your commitment to putting this together right. and for uh, being the first person to put something on the Jedi calendar for 2025. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, okay, uh, what about city employment, Tammy? Any updates? Um, yes. So, um, Mark put together a really nice flyer for me. He posted on the city's Facebook page um, with all the positions that we're hiring for. Actually, I just posted a couple more seasonal positions that aren't on here. But there's a nice QR code, and I have copies for each of you. Um, if you could share the Facebook and the social media posts, and if you have anybody you'd like to share this flyer with. I'd appreciate it. Um, we have all of our um, summer seasonal positions posted right now. Um, golf course, Parks and Rec, um, both at the fitness center and at the outdoor pool and for the summer camps. We also have our volunteer camp position posted. And then we have some full-time positions and part-time positions as well. So any help with recruiting, um, I'd appreciate it. Absolutely, well I saw it, it is a very nice flyer. And I shared it, and I also inboxed it to my children. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Is it anywhere located electronically on Facebook? It's on Facebook. On That's where I saw it. It is on, it's yeah. on Facebook. You, I also had Mark send me the PDF, so I could share it with anybody. Yeah, nice. yeah with, with the, the QR code, you can easily access yeah. online. So. Yeah. I like being able to post it something like this. I think this is more user friendly than. For sure. Another Tammy, quick question. In regard to the intern, do you have um, 
set of like how old will they need to be to apply? So for lifeguards, they can start at 15. 15, okay. Um, and for summer camp, probably as well. Um, and then for the volunteers, um, maybe as young as 14. Um, but most of the other positions, 16 or older. Okay. Okay. I thought a workers' comp is, is start at 14. Yeah. We don't hire 14 in the service department or okay. off the golf course. We did hire some 14 year olds last year in Parks and Rec. Okay. Right. Um, there's certain things. They can't be a lifeguard yet at 14, but they can be like an attendant or a camp helper. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, that's a great update. It's good to know we're hiring. Um, and I think we can all commit to sharing this out. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. You gave us something easy. <laughs> it's not as easy as it would seem. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. They were weird. Um, okay. Uh, any? Um, oh, go ahead, Tim. Uh, Karen just pointed out we have on here the police officer lateral hire. Um, that's if somebody's currently a police officer with at least a year experience, um, they can apply um, because we exhausted our list from the test. Um, we got one good candidate out of it. So uh, we do have the lateral hire position posted right now. Um, we have a nice flyer online for that position as well. Okay. Um, it does list both the starting rate and it also shows the high end because our high end is higher than a lot of neighboring departments. Um, we already have 14 applicants. Wow. That's so great. that's really that's great. great. Um, seems to be a nice mix of male and female candidates um, so if you could also share that posting in particular we'd really appreciate it help us grow our police department yeah um, and I know I see you on LinkedIn do you have the little hiring now flag on your on your picture no, but I can figure out how to do that. You, that <laughs> they definitely, I will tell you, I got um, probably more traffic than I could handle for our recruiters just by doing that. And it, okay. it doesn't require the premium or whatever. Oh, so that's, okay. that's a thought. Um, although I'm sure you could talk Sam into covering the premium on the city's behalf. It's kind of your job. But. The other position <laughs> that we're really not getting the applicants that we were hoping for is chief accountant payroll. Um, it, we've had it, we've had some applicants, but they don't have the payroll experience. They have accounting experience, but not payroll. So that's another one that we could really use help recruiting for. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm happy to to share whatever. Just let me know. Okay. Thank you right. so much. You're welcome. All right. Anything on the community outreach front? I guess that the Barbie probably fit more in community <coughs> outreach. Anything else? Okay, we're moving down pretty quickly. Um, so in, in unfinished business, I will just raise that um, I received an email from Andrea Stone today. I think everybody knows that she uh, she's a new mom again. Um, and I think those commitments are, are outweighing her ability to do a lot right now. So she um, said that she enjoyed her time with all of us. Um, actually, I'll read it because it was very kind. I've so enjoyed my time on this committee for the last couple of years but I do not feel that I can put my full effort into it moving forward. Thank you for the opportunity to serve on this committee and I will be your cheerleader moving forward. So great to hear from her and really happy for her and her family. Any new business? Daisy wanted me to bring up to, um, I know you guys won't be here, but if you have any suggestions um, for the new people, um, she would like to do something for Juneteenth. So she said, keep that in mind. And even if, if you're not here, if you do have any suggestions that you think would be valuable for the city, I mean, just shoot an email. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we're still within enough time. So Michael, I'm gonna kind of direct this at you, that if we're able to put something together pretty quickly, we could probably partner with the library on that because they already have, like they do a book list and they do like a reading and a couple of other things. Sure. Um, so maybe there's an opportunity to co-sponsor something. Okay. Um, Have we done much with Juneteenth, like 
historically have been things that have been effective or things that no not so much okay. we did that one the the equity thing at the library yeah just and the that library. was Don't that was probably was that, that was juneteenth the, or was that in the fall I think no, that, that was, was in the fall yeah okay that was in the yeah, fall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That was a well-attended event by our standards. <laughs> good, good. And we were able to get it in the libraries. Um, you know, they published the newsletter. Yeah. yeah, in their newsletter. Yeah, okay. I think at one point we planned to have a... Was it February? I think it was February. I, I, I want to say it was in the winter. Yeah. Because it was right after the police. I did the one in January. Right. And then we okay. did February. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. Not a bad time to bring that back for Juneteenth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Juneteenth, I think not, not last year, 2022, we talked about having a barbecue. Yeah. Um, you know, just an open barbecue for uh, folks, but uh, we never pull it off. Yeah, because we were going to try to get those tokens for the police officers yeah. to pass out. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So I there's, um, oh, go ahead. We, we want to have it at the park. Yeah. And then, um, the police officers, I think, have access to like handles tokens, yeah. and they can. They said, you know, when they drive by and see a kid doing something good, they'll pop out and give them a little token for a cone. So we're thinking maybe partner with a yeah, couple of local cool. businesses and do that kind of thing. And there's also some community interest around food trucks, so there's that too as an yeah. option. Who's the best library contact? Do we know that? Uh... Carrie, um, the assistant director who was here last week, okay. and I have her email, um, and I can send it to you. Okay. Any other thoughts on Juneteenth? Okay. Actually, story about Juneteenth would be nice to, you know, to talk about. Well, yeah, D Daisy and I talked about the education behind it. Yeah. There are that, some really good storytellers. Yeah. In our community, so it would be, be nice to have that. To have a, a huge auditorium and have somebody come and tell the story how. Yeah. 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 Then have barbecue after that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you got a couple of months. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Do you have any thoughts? <clears throat> you know, during our policing meeting years ago, I showed a video that um, highlighted what they did in uh, goodness, what was Camden, New Jersey, right outside of Philadelphia, where the police did like cookouts in like a park, and that brought the community and the police together, and it created more of a trusting kind of environment. And they saw, as a result, they saw a reduction in crime and things of that nature in the city. And I've always said that I wanted to try to do something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought Juneteenth might be a good opportunity. Um, you know, we see the police during um, in October when they have the grills out there, mm -hmm. you know, this could be another opportunity to do, to bring the grills out and bring the community out and, and um, have that type of interaction. I think it's more important with our minority community, with our African American community, especially um, um, in terms of uh, the relationship between members of the community and, and the police. And so I just feel that Juneteenth, Juneteenth provides a good opportunity for that kind of community engagement um, that we never really had an opportunity to do, but I think it's something worth exploring. I remember bringing it up during one of our meetings and, um, you know, the officers that were part of our meeting were open to yeah. it, mm -hmm. you know, so. I just think looking forward, that might be something worth exploring. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think people would appreciate seeing the police officers on the grill, and it's just a more casual environment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Are 
Jane. Any other ideas we're gonna arm Michael with? Have you ever showed anything like in the downtown square, like a movie or anything? Is that do we have that kind of capability? You know? Well, the square is technically not ours. It belongs to the township. The township. Okay. So that that would require. Um, <coughs> I don't know what it would require actually. Okay. Um, they did show a movie in the pool. <coughs> That's an option, and it will be June. <laughs> so. And you could also do an inflatable screen somewhere yeah. right yeah. i mean there's there's options and then there's also the ability to you know reach across the aisle and maybe partner to yeah. use the square yeah and june will be it will be warm outside so actually outdoor pool be real, be oh nice. yeah that'd mm -hmm. be a good idea to do something there yeah yeah you know that'd be a great a idea tv um, video or something like that or, again yeah <laughs> Look at all these good ideas you guys got flowing here. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. That's Carrie's email. Oh, yeah. Email. Okay, great. I think she spells it C A R I. I feel like they're pretty planned out, so it'd just be good to know when they are making decisions about events and. Things like that. Yeah. Um, That's good. Thanks. I think if you could connect with Parks and Rec, they have whatever's on the calendar mm -hmm. yeah. already on there. Right? So that'll give you the ability to kind of look at what's available. Did we ever do this? No, that was the, the origin of the Barbie discussion was a movie and then we didn't make it for January Good so chance. then we started talking about well let's do a movie for another month and then we came up with Barbie and then you had the okay. yeah okay yeah all right any other thoughts on Juneteenth okay uh miscellaneous business we uh, last time we met, we talked about, we actually selected the logo. I don't know if you put it on the website yet or anything. Um, I have not. Okay. I know um, it was sent to Shannon, right? Um, so she can get it to Mark. Okay. Um, but I'll make sure that they do that. Wonderful. Well, maybe they'll just do a full refresh, right? They'll add the new members, add the logo, maybe get that video done finally. Um, yeah, so when we get the new members, I wanted to order t-shirts so that the members have t-shirts with the new logo to wear to the events. Yeah. Or we could do polos, whichever. All right, anything else in the miscellaneous category? All right, well, I'm just going to grab chair's privilege here for just a moment. And just say that this is my last meeting. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, these last many years <laughs> as chair. Um, I, I will say that I, it's not a secret that I reluctantly sat as chair, um, thanks to gentle pressure from both Ms. Walker and uh, my fellow, <laughs> fellow members, but it has been extremely rewarding um, and I've truly enjoyed it. So um, I won't be going all the way away, but I do think it's time for somebody else to sit in this chair. And I'm uh, excited to see what the next iteration of this committee does and really excited to support as a community member. So thank you all for the opportunity to serve. And a great uh, chair you are. I appreciate that. Karen. Great chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But it's been yes. a privilege and a pleasure, you guys. And Michael, I know you just got here, but you too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll back up if you guys have anything. Yeah, I thank you. Uh, you. You said it uh, perfectly. So it's been a pleasure and an honor. Uh, to serve in this committee and again for me as well this is my last day and uh, um, we have Mike coming on board where well, he's already on board so he's gonna do a great job and yeah. um, and we're part of the community so uh, the, the, the community so we'll be supporting this committee uh, going forward uh, even though we're not here we'll be cheering for um, the committee going forward so this has been uh, wonderful this is this committee has started 2021 or November 2020 
uh, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a great committee. So looking forward to uh, next chapter. Yeah, and likewise, um, you know, I think I am moving forward as well. Um, I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for um, those of us who got started to, you know, transition. There are things at work that's also forcing me to transition mm -hmm. as well. Um, and so I just felt like this was a perfect opportunity to, to do so still in the community, so still not too far away. If anyone, if I can be of assistance in any way, shape, or form, just... You know, I'll be reaching out. Let me know, yeah, let me know. <laughs> We've already had a date. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I also know a lot of people. So once again, if you have issues finding people, I'm more than willing to help you find, you know, the assistance that you need for, for whatever. So. We appreciate that. Yes, thank you all. Your your service has been invaluable. I mean, I, it's, it's a, a wonderful thing that you brought to the city, and we certainly do appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Michael, I don't want to leave you out if you have anything you'd like to add. No, you got to be missed, so I appreciate <laughs> laying the groundwork in mean, three plus years and getting this started, seeing it through. So I just really appreciate your guys' work on this. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you coming in here as a new HR director. I've appreciated your ideas, your thoughtfulness, your energy, and I will be using you as resources. <laughs> so expect to hear from me. Yep. Well, you have our phone numbers and our email addresses. Yep, definitely. So, yeah, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be strangers. <laughs> All right. Um, anything else? Yes, remember there's always audience participation. So. There is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although, having my first Monday nights back won't be the worst thing, Karen. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's nothing else, the uh, next committee meeting will be Monday, April 8th at 6 p.m. in this room. Um, the time is now 626, and we are adjourned.